We still don't know if or when students will go back to class this fall, but we now know when a decision will be made and when schools will have to submit their reopening plans. More from Channel 2's Dave McKinley about some of the announcements from the governor today. These announcements from the governor come on the heels of the president making noise about his perception that some states are dragging their feet on school reopening and an admonition from the director of the CDC that its guidelines should in no way be used as a reason to keep schools closed. As previously announced, the state will have guidelines for reopening schools on July 13th. New today is that after they get them next Monday, schools will have a little over two weeks to draft a reopening plan based on those forthcoming guidelines. And right after that, August 1 to 7, uh, the state will announce a decision on whether or not those schools reopen. But he also suggested that schools in some regions of the state could reopen in September, while others might not, based on whatever the COVID-19 data shows at the time. That's much like we saw in the regional approach to reopening sectors of the economy. Cuomo's lieutenant governor also heads this area's reopening council. So there's nothing different from a business opening up versus a school district opening up in terms of just those basic elements that we know will protect public health. So we're not asking them to come up with a, a complicated, you know, unexpected dynamic. But schools do represent a complicated dynamic. Challenges, especially based on grade levels, include maintaining masking if required and social distancing, especially among younger students, not only in the classroom, but on the buses that take them there. They have the deadlines. They know the guidance is coming. They know what they have to do. They'll have till the end of July to work on it. A big challenge as well would be for parents, more of whom have been called back to work, who will have childcare issues to straighten out if their children are to be going to school on certain days but learning from home on others, which is also a possibility. Cuomo and Hochul both say that decisions will continue to be driven by data. Well, here's the latest. Statewide, 99% of tests being given for COVID-19 are now coming back negative. The number of hospitalizations are near their lowest point since mid-March, and the daily number of deaths now hovering around the single digits. In Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.